everybody, my name is Mike from Matt Gaming, and it's time for another delve into the depths that is Ichio's Horror Tag. This game is called Regret, and that is probably the predominant feeling I will be feeling after this game. It's also made in an engine that I have no, I've never heard of it before. The amount of games that are made in Unity and Unreal Engine are just, they're just astronomical proof, every single one is. This game is made in an engine I don't even know what it is. I can't even tell you the name of it. Anyway, there's a weird piano track in the background. Let's just get straight into it. The realization that a wonderful, that the wonderful was near us comes too late. Okay, the realization that the wonderful was near us comes too late. That is a mouthful of a sentence. What kind of place is it? I don't know. A really chintzy place with awful wallpaper. Oh my god. Oh, I move so slowly. By Q and E buttons. I, I think it's supposed to be a lean mechanic, but it kind of makes me do a little, little dance. A little dance. Just kind of regretting my life decisions. There's no sprint. There's no jump. There is a duck button, but there seems to be nothing else. Creaky, creaky flop. Oh, it's a looping corridor. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? So I'm going to say in the... The voice that I think best suits the text. What the hell? The worst voice acting ever imaginable. Can I open the doors quicker? This is such a slow game. And I'm criticizing already and I don't wanna. I'm regretting that. Martha, I'm so sorry. Is that Martha? Martha, I really want to apologize to you since i had the accident i speak a lot like william shatner anyway my acting skills aside or lack of my acting skills aside let's continue the looping corridor of boredom it's like basically these looping corridors are a giant game of spot the difference you ever played those games when you were little you had two pictures next to each other spot the difference one of them had someone's wearing a pair of red pants in the next picture they're wearing a pair of orange pants in one picture someone's got a polka dot dog in the other picture someone's not got a dog whereas in this looping corridor someone's knocked a lamp over i'm sorry martha i knocked the lamp over I'm so sorry. I'm quite sure what the music's doing. I don't know. Oh, this corridor is backwards and the lamp is on the floor. <laughs> Am I asleep or have I lost my mind? You've lost your mind. Oh, hello. Bye. You, you left your shadow behind. Martha's ghost. You left your little blob shadow behind. Do you want to come and take it back? I don't want it. You can have it. There's also a book here as well. Left mouse button. Okay, lots of text. Today, Robert and I... Okay, I'm not going to read it in the voice acting. I'm just going to read it normally. It's going to get done a lot quicker. Today, Robert and I decided to go to the pier. I have long wanted to visit this wonderful place. Yes, Robert had free time and he decided to devote it to me. Ah. Yesterday, Robert and I had a little argument. I decided to punch him in the face. No, wait, it says, I decided to ask him again about the children, but he characterically denied that he was a pedo. I mean, he did not want to talk about this topic. I will try to talk about him with another topic another time. I noticed that Robert was behaving a little strange today. Today, he didn't talk much to me, and when he left for work, he didn't even say goodbye. What a dickhead. He hit me! Robert raised his hand to me! Yesterday he came back from work, not in the mood, and I decided not to go to him. But after su supper, he seemed to be off the chain and started screaming at me, and then completely hit me. I'm starting to be a little afraid of him. <laughs> oh. Good God. Robert, you bastard! With the children! And the key on the floor. Oh, okay, there it is. But the, the children and the hitting and the blob shadow. I've got a key. Look, thank you. How could you do this to Martha, Robert? Did you know hitting your significant other is wrong? And I don't say that sarcastically. It is wrong. Do not hit anybody. This door is closed. This door is closed. Oh, does that mean I can't open the door? Martha? Does that, is that basically what you're trying to say to me, Martha? All right, Martha. Fair. Oh. Loading screen! So what did the loading screen do? Just... 
made another looping corridor. Oh, look. Oh, oh, is this a different looking room? This is a different looking room. Martha's room. I smelled the lasting smell of her perfume. Martha loved to read books. Yeah. So what you did, and I'm, I'm, I have no sympathy for this protagonist whatsoever. So what you did is you beat your wife and now you're expecting some kind of sympathy. You damn coward, I hate you. Do you know what? I, I have, think it's safe to say that Martha doesn't like Rupert anymore. I think his name's Rupert. Do you know what? I've forgotten the character's name already. It just shows you how much he means to me. I.e. very little. Excuse me while I very slowly walk towards the next door. Uh, oh, I need a key. There's a key hidden in here somewhere. Oh, so not only is it a looping hallway mechanic, check for dodgy indie horror game. It's also a key hunting simulator, check dodgy indie horror game. Just one day I want a game that's going to be good and it's going to surprise me and it's just going to genuinely frighten me. Just once. Oh, it's not even hidden, it's just on the bloody table. Just one day. Please, somebody make one. Don't copy old indie horror game tropes, please. It's not fun anymore, playing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh my god, I feel like I've aged about a year waiting for some of these doors to open. My beard has got like an inch longer. Martha! Please don't jump scare me again. My heart cannot take it. For if you jump scare me again, I fear I may shit my pants. Oh, what the hell. This is madness! <laughs> No! This is Sparta! Oh, insert, this is Sparta meme. Martha, what have you done to the room? Robert, he drinks a lot of alcohol, and he is often not at home. Sometimes he doesn't recognize me. A few days ago, he attacked me with a knife, but I managed to escape from the house, and when I returned, he was no longer there. I am very scared. Oh. Good lord. I mean, this is trying to tell a serious story, but it just is... It's tripped over the cobblestones and fallen flat on its face. I'm sorry, Martha, but it has. I've got to say, I'm loving the drum. Oh, it needs a key. Of course it does. I thought to myself, I bet there's a key in this room. But then a slight hope was within me that said, Do you know what? Maybe you don't. Maybe you just play the game without finding another needless key. Why? Apart from artificially elongating your game, do you need to have loads of keys everywhere? People, th I think, take the key mechanic from games such as Resident Evil and Silent Hill and think, I'm going to do that. But the reason that Silent Hill and Resident Evil had keys was not just a case of elongating the game. The keys served as a method of gating off a giant map that you could explore bit by bit. So you felt like you were trudging through bits that you'd already been through, but at the same time, exploring new things. It works in those games. Oh, oh, oh for God's sake. I ruined everything. I'll never forgive you. Oh, hello, Martha. You left your blob shadow behind last time. Oh, you've left it behind again. Martha cannot take her blob shadow with her wherever she goes. It's like she leaves the stain behind. Seriously, Martha. Have I really died? Most likely, I deserve it. I did something for which I will never forgive myself. I killed Martha, my beloved Martha. She was always there and supported me in difficult times. She always dreamed of a child, always started a conversation about it, but I was afraid. Damn coward. In the end, I lost everything. Martha, forgive me. I am going to you. I don't think Martha's going to want to know you in the afterlife somehow, Robert. Do you know what? She ain't gonna want to know you. She's partying with Albert Einstein right now. Okay, now I'd will press. It's just frozen on this screen. This was called regret. And that is the genuine feeling I have within me right now. I regret downloading this game. I regret thinking this game might be okay. I just generally regret. There we go. We're, we're finally back on the main menu. Thank you. But anyway, there's a link in the description if you really want to play it. Don't. I hate shitting on games. I really do. But sometimes they just make it so bloody easy. What else am I supposed to do with my time? I'm not going to take this seriously. I'm not going to sit there and go, 
This is a brilliant game. I'm going to play this seriously. Oh no, what has happened to Robert? Oh god, the twist at the end that he's killed Martha. I genuinely don't give a shit. I don't. That being said, I do love playing a shitty indie horror game I can make fun of. So, in that, is it regret? Is it not? That's the ever eternal conundrum that is indie horror as a genre. But just once, I'd like to play a good one. Just once. Just once. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave it a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe for new daily videos. And I'll see you again soon.